Um, don't send it down to the metal if you if you have to, if you need to, okay? So, um, like right here over here, I sand it down to the bare metal, and uh, when rain or humidity gets in, it gets ruts. So that's why you don't want to really sand it down to the metal if you need to. If that spot you really need to clean that spot, then you sand down to the metal. But other than that, I don't recommend you sand it down to the metal, okay? Uh, try to keep it off the metal, and all you need, really need to do is just sand it uh for all the uh um all the top coats layer and that's it and then you can just uh reprime if you have to and then just uh put a top coat on your spray uh spray paint uh coat okay so you i probably not going to prime it i don't think so uh that's why i recommend you to buy the uh spray paint that has primer and paint together so it's two in one um and then uh, do a top coat after a few days um, yeah you wanna uh, spray paint your your uh, base coat and then do a uh, wait for like a few days at least a few days to let it dry and um, and then uh, uh, put your clear coat on and then of course you're gonna buff after that too you're gonna have to buff to make it shine but you don't really have to do it since this is the under hood painting I, I don't think I'm gonna do all that. I'm just gonna put a a, a, a base uh, white per coat on, and I should be done with it. Um, so it's really easy uh, once you know how to paint inside of the interior of the car, because it's really complex and it's kind of hard than the outside. Once you know how to do the um, paint the inside, then uh, it's really uh, easy to paint the outside of the car here. You see, like the fender and the door, and you know it's gonna be really be really easy. To uh, paint the outside once you know how to paint the inside under the car okay <coughs> it's kind of complex that's why you really you really don't need to use this air grinder much you know most likely you just gonna sand with your uh, using your hand and uh, uh, sand grease paper okay I'm gonna go through here uh, with the paint um, the spray paint I'm gonna be using um, remember you guys always use your uh, uh, safety glass um, that's what the purpose uh, of the safety glass is to cover dust and uh, uh, of course when you do a spray paint job uh, then you really need to have a mask and uh, um, a safety glass. Um, I have both uh, two different kinds of uh, uh, goggle or you know just to cover up your, your nose and your face. Um, this is for a medical purpose. You, you you can use this if that's all you have. It's cheaper to buy that uh, that way. You have a whole box, but um, or you know this is the more the right dust mask. This is the right uh, mask you want to use um, to do any kind of automotive uh, job or painting, especially uh, painting. Okay, then you want to have your tape. This is a paint tape and uh, some newspaper. We'll tell you all about that later uh, in a minute. Um, this is all my uh, form and uh, 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 sanding grits. It's like it's like uh, it's like maybe uh, three or four hundred grits, but it's really soft. So this is more like cleaning after you sand it down and uh, water sand if you have to. Um, I got, I have a variety of color. So under my, uh, on my whole car engine, with the under and the whole engine gonna looks like, uh, after I repaint it, it's gonna more like a, be more like a rainbow color <laughs> on my car there since, you, you know, this is just some of it. I have, I still have some more in my house. And this is um, some of the paint uh, spray paint that I want to go over with you guys uh, doing some of the uh, painting in the car <coughs> okay another thing is uh, after you send you really need to use this to blow down the air blow gun yeah to use this to uh, clean it and after you sand it down okay um, and the painting I'm like I told you I'm gonna paint it to white okay uh, gloss white but uh I got this like a while back and I guess it didn't it didn't come out with two in one which is the uh, primer and the paint uh, but now they they just came out uh, the two in one 
I have one here and there it is the black one is two in one it also has a white two in one uh, paint and primer okay gloss so you really basically just all you need is that you don't need primer or anything like that it has primer and paint and gloss too so really you just use that one uh, uh, bottle of spray paint uh, two-in-one uh, method okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna paint um, my under car here to this color white all right uh, spray paint it after I clean it and it should be uh, ready right now because I just sand and clean with a rag and everything neatly and uh, wash it um, and uh, you want to do that right after it dries okay you don't want to wait like a few days or whatever because leaves and debris and dirt will fly back in if you're working outside like I am so basically after this after the cleaning I'm just going to spray paint it <coughs> um, right quick um, okay and the other color this is the color the red color you know that I um, mm, that I uh, used to paint my uh, wild cover and I'm going to show you I didn't really have a video on uh, when I was uh, repainting my wild cover I had some picture though but I might probably just do a short video um, uh, uh, at the end of it because right now I have uh, putting uh, tape uh, over the letters I already painted to red and, and probably paint the letter to uh, silver or white so I already taped the letter I'm now the last step is just peel out the letters and cover the rest and then just uh, spray paint the white on the letter and I'm going to probably do a video on that lastly <coughs> but the valve cover finished painting I put it inside the car already uh, to dry and everything and uh, it's the best place to dry anything is in, inside the car right <laughs> okay um, and I have most of my parts are already painted and I put it inside the house like the brackets and all that um, but these are the color I'm using um, um, you don't really need to buy like expensive uh, spray paint or color or whatever just buy you know from Lowe's or Walmart or anywhere just some cheap spray paint um, about four bucks or so you know not so cheap not so expensive but um, it works it will do the job um, if you want to go beyond that uh, it will be uh, like a VHT yes this is the VHT aluminum here I have for animal uh, engine uh, animal um, enamel uh, spray paint bottle can here yes this is I recommend that for valve cover or any engine component like the blocks or so um, because it will uh, absorb it won't it won't uh, absorb heat and light uh, or you can use uh, well I have I have the uh, the black um, like I just bought like a grill black uh, grill paint or so and it resists to like a thousand or a couple of hundred degrees of hotness so I'm, go I'm probably going to spray that black uh, uh, spray paint to my block and just because of that purpose if you want to do it right you want to you know buy the right product like to just uh, spray do a spray paint job on the engine okay and you can buy <coughs> some of these product out there in eBay somewhere online um, so and these are cheap I just bought this to spray paint like the outside and the brackets and all that um, but it's gloss finish and this is like two bucks two dollars out there <coughs> yeah the red and the blue one especially the red and blue one um, because I'm gonna spray that a lot um, like the red or the black or whatever uh, but this blue uh, I'm gonna spray paint it uh, on the uh, water pump uh, metal hose I already got it out and soap it with vinegar and then lastly have it soaked with baking soda I'm, t I'm talking about the water pump uh, metal hose okay uh, after I clean and you know clean through the holes and all that with the vinegar and trying to get the rust out inside of that uh, piece of metal uh, metal hoses that's like three metal hoses for that water pump uh, metal hose and then after that I dry and then just uh, I'm just gonna spray paint it to blue so I'm gonna make that uh, uh, metal hose to blue the water pump metal hose yes it's gonna be in blue color <laughs> um, here is I have black and uh, here's the black, especially just for plastic, okay? Uh, and it's gloss. And uh, some of the candy have like more than 25% bonus, so it gives you a little bit more. Um, sometimes it has that on sale. <coughs> 
you want to have this the uh, rust elm is, is the brand rust elm rust stop uh, rusty metal primer it's the best I mean you want to use that right after you sand it anywhere down to the metal right here to the bare metal so this spot right here you want to use that rust uh, that rust bottle I just showed you um, that's what it's called rusty metal primer uh, and then you know ready for a top coat after that uh, and uh, my hood here, I already cleaned it down. Probably gonna paint it, repaint it to the same color or uh, the grayish, brownish here, or black, either one. But um, it's ready for a paint job. Um, this is priming, paint and priming one. Um, so for a gold metallic indoor and outdoor, okay. So I'm gonna use this gold metallic color to spray paint. Uh, uh, some of the brackets that are on the engine here, like the brake and the clutch master cylinder there. Um, my brackets, here's the bracket I'm probably going to paint with that gold metallic uh, color, okay? This is like the brake uh, reservoir uh, bottle bracket uh, that was on the uh, firewall component engine the firewall engine and this is the clutch okay see the color that's the main that's its own original color and it's uh... yeah it's like golden uh... yellow golden so uh... that golden metallic uh... spray paint is the right um, is the right uh... color i'm gonna be using for these brackets and i have a lot of well, most of the brackets in here already paint with the rusty so any part that you um, so any parts that you see rust just uh, spray paint that rusty uh, spray paint I show you uh, here's the uh, windshield wiper blade system I already put in here it's ready to clean and test um, but that's a good spot to uh, to store your parts is inside uh, the car. Oh, and another thing is, uh, I want to show you about the bolts. I took out the the bolts from the uh, frame, you know, before I sand it down. So you might want to have a.